caravan and motorhome fridges. Hello, I'm Janet. You may have just noticed that we've got the fridge vent covers on the caravan. We always put these on when we winterise the caravan. The other important time to put the covers on when you're using the van is if the outside temperature drops below plus eight. This is because the excess cold air will affect the efficiency of the fridge. The other time to put the vent covers on is if you intend washing the outside of the van. As you can see, the fridge is ajar at the moment because we don't want any mildew to form. There's a little catch on this fridge to keep the door ajar safely. So to release the catch, I just move it slightly and then open the door. You'll see also that I've also left the freezer door compartment open again so that there's no mildew. Now once you don't need this catch you just fold it back in, click it into place and that's the normal lock. Now, the day before we intend setting off on a trip we always level the caravan in the drive and then we apply the 240 volt electric cable to get the fridge cool. It needs 12 hours to cool before you put any food into it. So I always make sure the day before I think ahead. Are the shelves in the right place for the food I'm going to take with me? Because the last thing you want to do when the fridge is already cool is start messing about moving the shelves around. So just think ahead a little bit. What you're going to take are the shelves in the right place. And I'm happy with mine. So, I'll shut the door for a moment, I've come into the caravan, I've switched the electricity on at the door and then I come to the fridge and I'm going to set the dial for 240 volt electric. Okay. Now the dial here is the thermostat, so I also need to make a setting of that and I tend to make it to about three quarters round for it to cool down over a 12 hour period. I've made sure the freezer door is shut, I'm happy with the shelves and I'm going to shut the fridge and I'm not going to do anything with it now for 12 hours. Now tomorrow when I bring the food in from the fridge in the house, which I've already made sure is chilled, I'm only going to bring in a few items at a time, so that when I open the door and put those few items in the fridge, I'm not losing that cool chilled air that the fridge has worked for, so hard for me. Then I'll go back in and bring some more. Now if you intend taking frozen food with you, it must be deeply frozen before you put it in the freezer compartment of the fridge. The freezer in here is not designed to freeze food for us. Now there's one slight exception to that which I'll show you. There's an ice cube tray and if you fill that with drinking water, pop it into the freezer compartment you can make ice cubes but it's recommended to do this at night when the fridge doesn't have to work as hard so bear that in mind if you want some ice cubes try and remember to do them last thing at night okay now if you find the freezer is getting a bit thick with frost on the fins you need to think about defrosting it so before you go and buy more food to fill the fridge up again while you're away just take out the remaining food you have in the fridge, pop it into a chilled bag, then it doesn't get warm. Let Turn the fridge off, the thermostat off, and let it defrost. And then give it a wipe with a nice dry cloth and put your thermostat back on. Let it chill for a, a little while before you put that food back in. It's a very important that. 
let the air move around in the fridge. You don't want to pack your fridge too tight. Leave spaces between the items in the fridge so that the cool air can circulate properly. Hello again. So we've fast forwarded 12 hours now and we're getting ready to hitch the car to the van. So the electric cable outside the 240 volt cable is now going to be removed from the van. So we need to come back into the caravan and reset the dial in the fridge. And we need to turn it from 240 volt to the leisure battery. And close the door again. Now your leisure battery is running the fridge. When you get to your destination, you have to think about that setting again. If you're going to go on to electric hookup, you just come in and turn it back to the 240 volt. Or you may not be going on to electric and you may decide to use gas. You still need to come in and connect the fridge to the power supply. If it's gas, of course, you would have to reconnect your gas bottle. You would need to come into the van and source the tap for the gas supply to the fridge, which I happen to know is the bottom one of these and mine. So I would turn that on and then I would go into the fridge, turn the dial from leisure battery to gas, which is at the bottom. And then I need to press and hold the thermostat, press the igniter and it will ignite the gas and then the red marker on here will start moving up to the green and that means that the gas has ignited and it's starting to operate the fridge. Notice I'm still holding the thermostat because I need to keep it depressed for 15 seconds. Then I can let go of that, the fridge is now running on gas, shut the door and make yourself a cup of tea. Now, when we were visiting Bard's Leisure a few days ago, this caravan was due for a service, we took the opportunity of having a look round some of the new vans, as you do. And the next part of this video shows you inside another Bailey Unicorn, a twin axle model, and it has a different fridge altogether. So, continue watching and see what I can tell you about that one. I don't like having to push these buttons to open the fridge door. I like my nails just as much as everybody else and I find it very annoying. But there is um, a locking device on these. While you're travelling, you do need to have the lock as it is. But once you're set up, open the fridge door and you'll see this arm here. And all you have to do is lift this and push the pin up. So if I lift, push the pin into lock then I shut the door and I no longer have to press the buttons to open the door I can just open the door and it does save on the ladies or gents nails but remember when traveling you have to relock it so just open the door again press it down with a little bit of force and it's in the lock so that when you shut the door, you now have to use the buttons to open it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe. If you use the YouTube bell icon, you will be notified of any more videos that we make. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.